Okay, I guess. I made a game in Roblox Studio. No, not Unity. <laughs> I mean Roblox Studio, the acclaimed janky game engine by the Sandbox, and one of the most demented game engines on the universe. So what am I doing with it? Well, if you even read the title, I'm making a game, a full one. I've tried to make games in the past with this Git engine, but they've all failed and fallen. So what makes this game any different? Well, I don't really know, but I want to make a game, so yes. yes. Anyways, to make a game, we need a plan. As my guinea pig once said, uh, moo. Anyways, I grabbed a pen and paper and began to get to work on the plan. I was thinking of a top-down view parkour game, with five small tutorials. So I began drawing this, and also being really stupid. So, I loaded studio and began to get to work on the main base before anything else. This gave us a nice foundation to work with and everything looks pretty okay. Now, I don't know about you, but we kinda can't jump over this. And there is no top-down view as we wanted. So, unlike most game engines, we have to code that. So, I made a simple top-down script, but... Little did I know, this would be the problem of the century. After many, many, many tries, I could not get this working. So I got an isometric camera from my old game and we used it for now. We'll get back to this later. On this channel, we hate grey blocks. Absolutely disgusting. So to fix this problem, I decorated the game. Now I'm a kind of cartoony of guy. So I'm using pastel colours, more specifically brown, green and blue to make this project look good. Now even grass and dirt doesn't please me, so I decided to make my own trees in Blender. And when I mean make, uh, when I mean make use the trees I made last year, and this also came with terrain, grass, and rock. And after a few changes, I started placing the boys around the map. And bada bing, bada boom, we have a decorated game. The thing is, the lighting sh is sure ruining it. So I'm not, a, I'm not really a lightning expert, but I know a guy who is. And with the careful copy of Gamer Mate's awesome tutorial on cartoon lighting, go and watch it. I've recommend it. We have this. Of course, I changed a few things, like making the sky a nice neon white, so people can blind their eyes and changing the geographical light. And there we have it, a fully fledged game made by Con- Oh yeah. We forgot to make the actual game. Oops. So as you remember from my beautiful diagrams, we have a collector cube to move on to the next stage. Sounds simple, right? Well, not if you're me, as the slightest annoyance will trigger me. Like, we still have this dang isometric camera. So after one more try, we did it. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Frank over there, I appreciate you, man. There's also an option to press E or Q to rotate, so... Yes! We got the camera out of the way, and we can put that in the completed list, which is still kinda small. 
I began making the main part of the game, the cube, and decided to give it an epic face because it's cool. After modeling the cube, I put some, in, I put it in reach, reachable places on every single map and gave some effects using particles. Now, the next thing to do is that when you touch the cube, you get taken to the next map. Pretty cool, I know. I began making the teleportation, tele, te, tele, 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 teleportation for the cube. And don't ask why I called them doors. We don't talk about the name. And just like that, this cube will teleport you to the second level. But I have a feeling some people might be confused on what to do. And lucky for me, I'm kind of the young Picasso. So I made drawings using AutoDraw, the best drawing tool for any person in need. And bam. Yeah, I know, jealous, right? With the build board put up and ready, we need something more. So I had the idea to make the level number flash for a few seconds when you get there. This was made easily and worked like a cone. Now, for the most tedious part of game creation, making the same thing over and over again. Of course, I couldn't just put it for one level, so I had to basically clone this repeatedly multiple times. A little annoying, but this is the game creation life. There are no shortcuts. I began making another mechanic for this game, the double jump. Basically, if you spacebar two times, you jump twice. Now, I can do two things. One, make the script entirely myself, or two, get it from another game called Pathfinder, which you should definitely look out for, by the way. And you know who made Pathfinder? Some guy. And you know what made, uh, what some guy made? Batman in Roblox, the best game there is. It's a completely accurate representation of Bendy. And the best part, it's free. So what are you waiting for? Get your mushy hands on it right now. Okay, back to the video. And so, we now have double jump. How do we get the player to notice this bow? Uh, make another Picasso level drawing. This time it took five seconds. All right, next up on our list is levers. What this mechanic does is that if you press E, then it opens a door. I, it's like a button, but for awesome people. Now, I kind of don't want to spend a year making a lever. So for this one time, I'm going to borrow a model. Yeah, I know, crazy, right? And with the awesome help of How To Roblox, we have a functioning, surprisingly good looking lever. We also made a Leonardo da Vinci drawing, feast your eyes. I also made another level for level 9, the final, and had to tweak it some bits to make it work. Now the main game was officially done, I made a nice thumbnail and icon. And we have officially finished our game. It took a while, but I'm very pleased with it. The game is published, the link is in the pinned comment and description if you wanna check it out, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, maybe give it a like. Hey, here's some gameplay. I've been Conad, and I'm out of here.